Sustainable kitchen design. Whether you're building a new kitchen or renovating an old one, there are lots of ways to be more sustainable and it can be easier than you think. If you're setting out to design a sustainable kitchen or just want to be more environmentally conscious, you should ask yourself and have a think about the following questions to help make more sustainable choices. Where are your materials from? How long will they last? What are they made of? And where will they end up after you've used them? In this video, I've got seven eco-friendly tips to talk about that can be used to help design and build a more sustainable kitchen. So let's get into it. Number one, reuse items. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That's the order of waste management and when it comes to sustainability. So when it comes to sustainable kitchen design, you can often reuse, refurbish or refresh worn out items. Instead of buying new handles for your cabinet doors and drawers, why not reuse your old ones? Or instead of buying or building a new cabinet from scratch, you could simply change your doors or your countertop to give your kitchen a fresh new look. This way, you not only reuse existing materials, but you're also reducing the amount of new materials that you're purchasing and using so that saves the environment and your wallet. Sustainable materials. I'm going to break this section down a bit further into cabinets, countertops and paint. So with cabinets, we're looking at more sustainable materials to build them. And a great option for this is using solid timber. The advantage of solid timber cabinets and doors is that they come from a natural source. Unlike plastics that can be made using harmful chemicals, solid timber is a green and renewable resource. On top of this, solid timber doors can be repainted or repaired quite easily, unlike vinyl or laminate wrapped doors. Solid timber cabinets are a great choice for durability and longevity, which is exactly what you want from a sustainable kitchen. Another good option is using plywood. Plywood kitchens are actually fast becoming a bit of a sustainable kitchen design trend. Plywood is strong and durable and quite versatile when it comes to kitchen cabinets and doors. And not to mention, as it's made from wood, it's another renewable and green resource. It can also be a little bit cheaper in comparison to some other solid timbers, especially for the doors. But to stay extra sustainable, you should make sure that the plywood manufacturer that you're using doesn't use formaldehyde in the glue. Glue with formaldehyde in contains harmful chemicals to you and the environment and obviously we want to avoid that in our sustainable kitchen. First up is to use FSC certified timber. Countertop timber and you know, wood worktops that are FSC certified, which stands for Forest Stewardship Council, is a timber that was harvested and processed in the most environmentally friendly and sustainable way possible. The forests that they come from are responsibly managed with the highest environmental and social benefits in mind. Really, anytime you're using timber in your kitchen, be it your countertops or your cabinets and doors, you should always seek to use FSC certified timber. And if you don't want a wooden countertop, then consider Neolith, which is a brand name for a sintered stone. Neolith is an extremely strong and durable material. It's made up of 100% natural materials and is completely resin free. So it doesn't release any harmful substances into the environment during its manufacturing process. In fact, up to 52% of any Neolith countertop is made up from recycled raw materials, creating slabs that are tough, scratchy, free, heat resistant and that can last a lifetime, making Neolith countertops a good choice for a sustainable kitchen. Using VOC free paint is key to a sustainable kitchen. This is paint that doesn't include volatile organic compounds, so VOC. VOC is the reason that newly painted surfaces have that paint smell. These smells come from the harmful chemicals or volatile gases in the VOC paints. They can be harmful to not only the environment but to your health as well. So if you're having a painted kitchen or you're painting existing cabinets, look for VOC free paint or low VOC paint. Number three, save water. When picking out a new kitchen tap, consider a low flow tap. Low flow taps can save around 30 to 50% on your water consumption. And if you're worried that means you just get a feeble dribble out the tap, fear not, as most taps will come with an aerator attachment as well. Aerators, as the name suggests, adds air into your water, giving your low water flow added volume. Another way to help save water is to consider 
idea having a smaller or slimline dishwasher, especially if you're a smaller household. Slimline dishwashers are 450 millimeters wide, as opposed to their standard counterpart, which is 600 millimeters wide, and will use less water during their wash cycle, which is perfect if you never end up filling a full-size dishwasher. Energy efficient appliances. Appliances are rated from A triple plus all the way down to G. If you want to be as energy efficient and sustainable as possible, you want to be looking to the A triple plus side of things. You may also want to consider the fuel type for your appliances as well, as renewable energy production with solar and wind improves and replaces fossil fuels. Having electric ovens and induction hobs rather than their gas counterparts can be a more environmentally friendly and cleaner energy option. Your new induction hub could be powered by solar panels on your roof. Clean and free energy, wouldn't that be nice? Consider a garbage disposal unit. A garbage disposal unit or a food waste disposer here in the UK is another good sustainable kitchen option. This will be installed in your kitchen sink, reducing the amount of food waste that ends up in your bin and may ultimately end up in landfill. Instead, food waste goes through this garbage disposal unit and down directly into your sewage system. It's then treated in a sewage treatment plant and can actually be used to benefit the environment. Some of these sewage treatment plants will actually capture the methane gas given off by the food waste and convert it into green energy, which then they use to power the plants themselves. Number six, energy efficient lighting. LED lights are highly efficient and an environmentally friendly light source for your kitchen. They are often up to 90% more efficient than incandescent and fluorescent lamps. And LEDs usually have a much longer lifespan than any of these lamps as well. So you not only save on electricity, which is a win for the environment and a win for your wallet, but because you're not replacing them as often, you also save on non-biodegradable waste as well. So win, win, win. And lastly, tip number seven, get the design right. Don't rush your kitchen design. A sustainable kitchen is a worthwhile project to undertake and therefore needs careful thought and planning. You don't want to regret your choices a few months or even years down the line and have to replace or move or change things because of bad design decisions. Designing and building a more environmentally friendly and sustainable kitchen should give you more durable and long lasting materials. It's better to make a good investment once that will last a long time rather Rather than saving a bit of money up front on a product, only for it to wear and break down quicker, costing you more money and wasting more materials in the long run. And a sustainable kitchen not only benefits the environment at large, but also your home environment too. It can increase efficiency, create minimal maintenance and reduce your energy bills. So take your time and consider everything and get it right the first time. The environment and your wallet will thank you in the long run. I'd love to hear if you have any other sustainable kitchen design tips? If so, leave a comment below, that way we can all learn and benefit from them. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.